Hello everybody, this is Arathos and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. So in the last episode we saw the amazing uh, performance of the Heavy Bolter. Now we're going to play around a bit with that a bit more, but now we also have the Melta. Which I've actually been kind of looking forward to trying this out. And I seriously, that thing is a fucking beast. I did not think it would be that big. That's almost cartoonishly large. <coughs> Excuse me. But let's see how it works out. Uh, we have a priority assignment, so let's take that. Major cult. Damn. Transport hubs recorded a high number of biometric false alarms on this world, a sign of large-scale clandestine infiltration under false identities. Some see this as confirmation of long-held suspicions about an anti-imperial cult. These suspicions must be verified, investigate, and root out major threats. You know it'd be cool, terrifying but cool, if the biometric false alarms were not <clears throat> an anti-imperial cult, but like a gene-stealer cult. That would be awesome. Uh, order authorities, bribe government officials, leak security. Uh, bribe government officials, why not? Collateral damage negligible, yes, do that. Day one, acquired specialized surveillance equipment calibrated for local atmospheric conditions. Secured intel source for data dissection, pacification via neurotoxin marked with a spinal radium capsule. Scheduled for extraction. Lost a servitor drone at a suspected local site. Last pick feed shows subjects with forbidden tattoo markings. Hmm. We shall pursue one of the following leads. A respected Adeptus Ministorum confessor came under suspicion when his flock started thinning. We'll do that. To Athon Prime. <laughs> I always want to do this, but it's always kind of sad. The respected cr confessor turned out to be a heretic who inspired a would-be weak, who inspired, conspired, Jesus, to mold weak-willed subjects into a chaos cult, launch a raid at the possible hideout and collect evidence, extract data from cogitator terminals around the map. The mission will be completed when all data has been collected. I'm going to keep trying the Imperial Guards because I like Imperial Guardsmen. I just wish these ones were a little bit more effective. And honestly, if they just stay behind me, everything would be fine. I got the power armor. Let me... You know, let me be the... Let me charge. Hellstorm or... Yeah, no, Hellstorm is the explosive munitions. Okay, guys, you guys need to stay behind me. <laughs> I will take care of these assholes. Yep, see, they're almost dead already. See, I can just stand here and be like a mobile turret type thing. They do not need to get out in the front and die. And there we go. There goes one of them. Jesus. Yeah, I think they need a... I know they're... I, I, I know they're meant to be cannon fodder for the most part in the Imperium, but they need either more armor or they need to give... Well, I guess, nah, they don't really need to be... I imagine, yeah, these are just basic Imperial Guard. They don't need to be much stronger. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, they look pretty basic. But they also have the Inquisitorial Emblem on them, don't they? Nah, that's the Imperial Guard. Never mind. No, nah, what I was going to say, though, is it's like, <clears throat> you know, I know they're meant to be cannon fodder. And I guess when they're extra dudes, you can have join you. I guess they really don't have to be stronger. Nice. But it'd be nice. I imagine we'll get stronger allies, maybe some Inquisitorial Stormtroopers. You know, carapace armor and all that. Uh, as part of the retinue system. At least we can hope, right? Hey, guys. You know, and I think the nice part about the retinue system is if that works out the way I hope it does, 
Um, you know, I hope we are able to level up our minions. Hi, guys. And you're gonna die, idiot who jumped in front of the rest of us. I'm gonna drop a turret, though. Try to keep your ass alive. Yeah, no, I am... I absolutely fucking adore the... Yep, there they went. Knew that was coming. Oh, fuck off with you. Yeah, I like how the dude just cannot spin around quickly when he's using uh, the heavy bolter. <laughs> oh, really? We'll do the spin-up attack, then. <laughs> look how quickly the... Yeah, look how quickly their uh, cover just kind of disappeared. That was fun. You're still alive, huh? Not anymore. Alright, let's try the Melta now. Okay, one of our targets is straight ahead. I'm gonna wait till I heal up because I don't know what's over there. And let's take a look at our abilities. Single target, continuous beam. Okay, we've we've used those before. Okay, let's. All right, and number and the right click is an area of effect. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind. Heat pulse. That's armor piercing. And an Inferno Beam. Well, we can test those out. Okay, that's a rapid-fire anti-armor. And that is one of those beams. Okay, what is that specialized in? Armor Breaking. Okay. <laughs> cool. Let's come collect all this shit. Uh, F to interact. Oh, I have to hold. Okay, give me the loot. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's go to the left. And murder some heretics with a melta gun. <laughs> Always a fun time. Uh huh. Shit. All right, let's do this. Drop a turret. Okay, yeah, the Melta's got a fairly... Damn. You guys set up a lot of reinforcements, didn't you? Okay, well, I'm gonna activate this while I'm here. I'm gonna drop a turret. And let's go with... Yep. Oh. I didn't even see you hiding back there. Ah, I think my biggest complaint about the uh, Melta is the range is pretty sad. That was kind of the case with the Inferno pistol as well. It's much more accurate though than the Heavy Bolter. Well, it looks like I have decent range from there. Nope, that's an illusion. That does not actually connect. Yep. Okay. Into the next room. What's up, guys? Yeah, it's a great close quarters weapon. Come on. Burst that shit. Wow. What the fuck was that? Okay, yeah, people are exploding. <clears throat> okay, yeah, now this is awesome. I'm surprised that dude didn't run like hell. That. Yeah, now that right click attack on this, this one, that is fun. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see here. Just straight down the hallway to our next target. Yeah, this is this weapon combination is actually a blast. I like having the Melta for close combat. It's more effective than my melee weapons, which is kind of unfortunate because I did like my Eviscerator. But actually, I don't know. The Eviscerator in that last close quarters combat I had in there probably would have murdered them all faster. I don't know. We're going to have to play around with it. Play around with loadouts. Screw you and your damn mines. You know what? Screw you. Yeah, damn. Those guys don't stand a chance when I bust this thing out. <clears throat> How about a little bit of this? Continuous beam. Murder you. Drop a turret. Hey guys. I'm gonna just hit this, hit this, and blow all you guys to hell. While my turret provides a plethora of fire support. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Anybody left? A couple. <laughs> <clears throat> it's hard not to love this weapon. I think I murdered everybody on this map. Except we got all the data. Pretty sure we only get account XP for this, not um uh not rank XP. Cool. <laughs> yeah, from what I understand though in the final game <clears throat> they plan on having you earn rank XP from both the uh, Uther's Tarot missions as well as uh, story missions. And apparently premium missions that show up in this game from time to time also give you rank XP, but I haven't seen very many of those. <laughs> uh, inspection of the Heretic Hideout has yielded numerous cult-related evidence, revealing yet more sinners in the clergy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, witness accounts taken from both the corrupted and the unblemished subjects outlines a relatively clear picture. The acquired data suggests that a secretive cult is conspiring here. Ah, uh, yeah. Claim my fate. Now, let's go talk to her. I have stuff to sell. Thank you. I'm going to keep the eviscerator. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm still, I'm quite pleased with my heavy bolter. The bolt gun can go away. Okay, we definitely need to use that. Eh. I really don't like the normal force fields. Grants immunity all damage for five seconds. Nah, I like the normal. <clears throat> you have any shit I want to build? Nope. Don't. Yeah, after playing, the more and more I play this game, the more and more I do not care for the uh, pistols. Let's see. Star map? I think we should knock out an Uther's Tarot mission. Uh, do we want armor, rifles... I'm going to go with heavy weapons. I like the heavy weapons. Minor Arcana. Death. And for this over... Yeah, okay. 
Uh, do we want crafting, Caligari credits, fate points? Let's go to fate points. Okay, we are not permitted to die, and we're going to fight regular and champion enemies that can spawn a demon upon their death. Okay. What helps with that is um, our heavy explosive bolter <laughs> rounds. Let's do this. Uh, 110 rank points under the Edict of Obliteration and an undisclosed number of Astra Militarum units were marked for immediate deletion. Due to an unencrypted vodcast, Voxcast, Ordo kill teams were ambushed and soon overwhelmed at the target site. Deploy as an emergency measure and fulfill the deletion order. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it, there's a sentinel. Hell, that's why we have the Melta. That should fucking murder a sentinel. Yeah, no, I just, every time I hear that, I start thinking of, what is it, from the Gaunt's Ghosts book series, you know, the Armor of Contempt. Well, he didn't last long. <laughs> Damn! The Heavy Bolter. Especially when they get into those enclosed areas. Yeah, nah. Let's reload. I'm going to take my medical supplies. I would be really surprised if those are needed. Okay. We got a purity seal. Hey, dude. Enjoy the rounds. Yeah, no, your little <clears throat> demon spawning ass can go to hell. Enjoy the turret. <laughs> that demon just got torn the hell up before it could do anything. That's what I like to see. Hey guys. Yep, nope, that bull grin just got screwed over too. The carnage. The glorious, glorious carnage. I really hope we get to see, um, in the final game, I don't know if we will, since we are dealing with, um, you know, since we are dealing with, uh, Renegade, uh, Imperial Guard units, Imperial Guard allies, all that stuff. I really kind of hope we see um, uh, various regiments so we can see a little bit more variety in the types of Imperial Guard that we're killing. You know what, dude? Damn. That was like summary execution right there. That was like some Commissar shit. Hey, guys. I'm here to kill you all, so... Uh, yeah, just kind of continue to... Gather in tight little quarters here. Make my job easier. <laughs> Basically line up so I use less ammo. Not that I have a shortage of that. Yeah, this is just evil. Like just how quickly these dudes just get dropped right now. Uh... Yeah, no, I could do without that. Okay, yeah, that thing over there is unfortunate. <clears throat> I'm going to use another turret. Yeah, no, this, this, uh, this sucks. I'm going to use heavy firepower. Could 
do without the eradicator. Oh shit. Okay, what which one of these? That's armor breaking. Okay. Leave my turret alone, you bastard. I think we got him. Jesus. Yeah, no, that still sucked, though. What you gonna do now? <laughs> I like that it's just like, yeah, I'll take your shots. And then I'm gonna get right around the edge of your turret and you're fucked. Stationary weapon, let's let's destroy it. Hmm. Yeah, no, that tank was pretty nasty. It wasn't even really the tank, it was the tank combined with the turret, combined with all of his backup. It's like Jesus. And a Bullgrin and an Ogrin and and yeah, now he had a lot of backup. Let's shred your guys' armor, shall we? I like once their armor's gone, they just get launched off their feet. It amuses me. And dead. Let's see here. Oh. I know that gun. Dude who basically looks like he's carrying a, a fucking gun from a Lehman Russ or some shit over there. Well, not Lehman Russ. Maybe a Kybera. Not quite big enough to be the Russ's weapon. Don't even try it. Drop a turret. Turret is already dead. That's kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, you know what? This little group over here would be nice if I could kill it. Okay, apparently I'm not capable right now. So we're going to retreat just a ways. So I can kill the demon, and there we go. The carnage as they gather at the opening here. Yeah, I'll deal with that Ogren back there momentarily. Are you not dead? Uh, no. No salvo. Let's take out your armor. And then murder the... Okay, I'll take out the champion, too. There we go. <laughs> he better not count as a <clears throat> still living enemy at the end of this mission. That would piss me off. A nice little glitch. Hmm. Yeah, nope, I can't affect him in the slightest. Kind of looks like he's shell-shocked. He's just kind of sitting there going, what the fuck happened here? Uh, nah, nah, nah. There we go. None of your little backup is going to join you here. Let it rain. I agree, let's let it rain. You want to take bets as to who's better at making it rain? You are now done, but you could certainly fight. I had better be able to fight, honestly, considering the shit I got to deal with. Uh, only four enemies left. One left. They are going to count that son of a bitch, aren't they? Fuck. Yep, they are counting it. 
Well, that sucks. That really does. Maybe my turret can affect it? You can't, can you? Oh, that blows. Yep, that's... That's a thing that happened. Yep. I cannot hurt that bastard in the slightest. See? Oh, that sucks. Fuck. I missed a treasure chest up there. I might as well go get it. <sighs> yeah, it sucks. We're gonna have to surrender the mission. Because there's no other way to end it. Yeah, I don't know that I'll be using the... Um... Uther's Tarot card that basically triggers... That triggers these kill every unit missions again. What with those little glitches like that going on. Alright. Uh... Yes, I want to surrender, damn it. It wasn't a mission failure. You just fucked me, basically. <laughs> uh, we got a little bit of count XP, at least. Yep. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> <sighs> Regardless, though, I think this is actually a pretty good place to stop, even if it did end with them basically stealing my fate points through a glitch. But either way, uh, it was still fun. I did enjoy using the Melta gun. I still prefer the heavy bolter, but the Melta gun was still fun, so I'll probably continue with this loadout for a little while, unless I unlock something better. But either way, we'll have to see next time. So thank you everybody so very much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you next time for some more Inquisitor Martyr, where hopefully we have a less glitchy time. But either way, it was still fun. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, guys.